In this video, we will be reviewing how to properly mount Landa and verify the installation. We will first go over some facts about Landa. Next, we will review the packaging of Landa and go over what to expect when shipped from elevator controls. Then, we will go over how to physically mount Landa and wire the Landa tape reader units to the Pixel TOC board. And last, we will demonstrate how to verify Landa install. Landa is a dual tape reader system giving the Pixel controller system positional and speed redundancy verification. Each Landa tape reader has an accuracy of 0.8 millimeters. The stainless steel tape is an absolute encoded tape giving the Pixel controller system the ability to know exactly where it is at any given time. The tape can run for a thousand plus feet in length and because of this absolute encoded system, the Pixel controller system is able to reduce physical hardware in the hoistway. Now that we've become more acquainted with Landa, let's go over what to expect when you receive your Pixel controller system. First, you want to locate the absolute encoded stainless steel tape, and then you want to locate the set of boxes that include the Landa and TOC mounting hardware. You may recognize these boxes from our previous video presentation. Next, let's review the contents of the mounting hardware boxes. The first box is labeled 24-006-001, which contains one tape reader bracket for both the Landa tape readers, two wire harnesses that will run from each Landa tape reader to the Pixel TOC board, and two Landa tape readers. The second box is labeled 24 dash 006-002, which contains three car top mounting brackets. Each bracket has a sticker to identify which bracket assembly piece it is. Car top 1 of 3, car top 2 of 3, and car top 3 of 3. The next box is 24-006-003, which contains one tape mounting bracket for the top of the hoistway. 24-006-004 contains one tape mounting bracket for the bottom of the hoistway and one spring tension bracket for securing the tape at the bottom of the hoistway. 24-006-005 contains one intermediate tape mounting bracket that is used anywhere in between the top and bottom mounting brackets. This bracket is to help maintain stability for longer hoistways and will be provided for every 40 feet. Note that these brackets will only be sent if the hoistway exceeds 80 feet in length. Once you have all your boxes with the mounting hardware, go over to page QR5 of the Pixel Controller prints and review the step-by-step -step mounting instructions located in the top right corner. When installing Landa, we want to start by verifying that the Pixel Controller system is on construction mode. Then attach the top bracket using the provided rail clips. When mounting the Landa tape, begin from the top of the hoistway and work your way down. The reason is the Landa tape is coiled in a way that the highest value is on the outside of the roll. When you begin, Verify the edge with the small holes is facing away from the Landa tape readers. Now slide the Landa tape between the tape clamps. Align the top of the tape clamp to one of the slots of the Landa tape, then fasten the nuts. Aligning the Landa tape should be done to avoid any initial twisting of the tape due to it hanging at an angle. Note. It is important to verify that the arrows on the labels located on the Landa tape are pointed in the up direction. After you roll the Landa tape to the bottom of the hoistway, attach the bottom bracket using the provided rail clips. Take the spring tension tape mounting bracket and slide it in the hole at the end of the bottom bracket. Again, Slide the Landa tape between the tape clamps, then align the top of the tape clamp to one of the slots of the Landa tape, then fasten and secure the clamps. Note, 
When you tighten the tape clamps, leave just a small gap between the tape mounting bracket and the bottom bracket. After fastening the clamps, take the spring and washer nut and place it at the bottom of the tape mounting bracket and fasten the washer nut until the land of tape sits plumb. Caution, over torquing the washer nut can cause excess tension on the land of tape which may result in twisting or warping. After, take the final nut and fasten it under the washer nut. For the intermediate landa tape bracket, align the bracket with one of the holes on the landa tape, then place the plug through the landa tape and the tape clamp and secure it with a pin. Secure the pin by twisting one of the legs with a pair of pliers. Let's continue on to mounting the landa tape readers. For this, the following lengths should be noted. There are 5 inches between the center of the spring nut from one unistrut to the next. And the length of the unistrut holding the landa tape reader bracket is 18 inches. Then there are 3 bolts securing the landa tape reader bracket to the unit strut. Note that when placing the landa tape readers on the bracket, the wire harness connection must face upwards. And the tape readers can be mounted in 3 different configurations on the landa tape reader bracket. Once the landa tape reader bracket is mounted, verify once again that the arrows on the labels on the landa tape are pointed in the upward direction and that the landa tape is aligned with the notch located in the landa tape reader. Remember that the landa tape readers have a half inch tolerance all around. Now that the landa tape readers have been mounted, let's go back to QR5 of the pixel controller prints and review the wire harness from the landa tape readers to the Pixel TOC board. The main Landa tape reader is the bottom reader on the Landa tape reader bracket and connects to the JMSEL connector on the Pixel TOC board, while the auxiliary Landa tape reader connects to the JASEL connector on the Pixel TOC board. Our final step is to verify the Landa installation. While running the car on inspection up and down the hoistway, Verify that the landa tape stays aligned within the landa tape readers and that there are no errors being displayed on the view selector data window, which can be located in the install window of Pixel. Also, verify that the selector 1 or main landa tape reader position is of a lower value than that of selector 2 or the auxiliary landa tape reader position. This is due to the main landa tape reader being located on the bottom of the landa tape reader bracket. With all this being done, you will now have completed the landa installation and verification.